Thanks for staying with us now. If you're just tuning in, as we move towards 2023, how can our voice translate to our votes? You know, that's our question. So please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Wayshow Africa 1 with the hashtag Wayshow. Or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-84663. And we still have our guest, Ted Jubebe, face with us. Um, Sansi, do you want to take a comment first? Then we now... Um, well, yes, I do have... Okay, you know what? I'll take the comment first. Then and you have then... your own comment, right? Yes, Question, I do. Rather. So um, this is from Benson. He asks, what can we build from the possibilities of what we saw from the organized NSAS? Again, what we need to okay, take away so from that the is that there's a generation okay. mm -hmm. of mostly young people who are Nigerians who are given to change. Mm -hmm. So at the very least, if you're one who is called into leadership and into politics mm -hmm. at the I mean, you feel that's what you're called. You know that there's this whole generation of people who will support you. You know, uh, so at the very least, you're hurting by the fact that not every Nigerian is a certain way. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, that's what I would take there from first from there is that there's a whole generation of thinkers in Nigeria who want things done a different way. Mm -hmm. We can begin to build on that energy. I expect a certain number of superstars or stars to arise or future leaders to arise from that moment from that movement not uh, not not particularly or not only exclusively those whom we saw mm. come out in the forefront but those who were touched by that and you will see somebody will show up uh, years later and you'll be speaking to this governor and to this president who will tell you that the fire for leadership was born in his heart or in her heart uh, starting from that you know, NSAS movement, that that was what kindled the fire in their heart. So I think it's already done what it is supposed to do, mm -hmm. more or less. But I, I think I'm fairly convinced that what it is not supposed to do is to continue along those same lines. Mm. It, it cannot work, okay? I, I sympathize with those who think that we can take it by force, but there's something that people who want to take things by force also always forget. You, you cannot control a fire, a raging fire, once you light it. So if we're going to take it by force, it's like uh, when we used to go to the village, you know, and they wanted to clear the forests during the Hamilton season. They would always make sure that they marked out the borders of the forest and they had fire beaters, mm -hmm. people who would beat the fire to make sure that when you lit that fire, it did not consume more than you wanted it to consume. And once you begin to agitate violence, we will take it by force for taking over power. Oftentimes it consumes more than you think. Now, in the end, the irony is that in the end, it may achieve what you thought you wanted to achieve. It may give you the change, but do you want to pay the price for that change? Hmm. Hmm. So the biggest takeaway from Lecky was that, trust me, there's a fire that has been birthed in so many hearts. The seeds have been sown. And like everything that is sown, the harvest is coming. You will see the harvest. Hmm. Okay. Um, can I go forward? Right, okay, so now, Teju, you also have, uh, I mean, you built a career as well as a comedian, obviously. We saw a bit of that when you were cracking us <laughs> up um, during your first speech band. Um, I have this question for you. Does, does comedy skits, I mean, we see a lot of people making comedy skits and, you know, comedians, comedy shows, making fun of these people in government. Would you say that is an effective way to, you know, pass across information or does it just make it look like a joke and people don't take it seriously the state of the nation okay, so first of all you guys have great great questions whoever coaches you guys to ask these questions kudos to them and if nobody coaches you and you're coming uh, with these questions extemporaneously again congratulations beauty and brains who said it doesn't exist I thank mean, you right here we try to thank exist. you <laughs> <laughs> so great question again you're talking of satire now usually would we'll go satire like this this is what we do this is what um Trevor Noah is doing with uh, The right. Daily Show. Yeah. This is what uh, Stephen Colbert is doing mostly with The uh, the Late Show. And you have it all over the place. You know, there are these uh, satirical shows um, all over the world. Does it work in Nigeria? Hmm. The first person who will call you once you start to do satire in Nigeria, what? right now, the first person who will call you is your mother. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, mom, me John Tori alone. <laughs> One if I to Nigeria, she 
<laughs> translation, my child, it is not your own blood no, that you will teaching. use as the sacrifice to make Nigeria a better place. <laughs> I have actually heard it being said. My mother it's says your family that all members the time. That call you. <laughs> <laughs> and if you are out of Nigeria, such as I am, uh -uh, you can leave Nigeria, but will you take everybody out of Nigeria? If you take your father and your mother, will you take all your siblings? Mm -hmm. If you take your siblings, will you take the, their wives? Of course, you take their wives and their spouses. If you take your sibling and his wife, will you take your sibling's wife's brother? If you take your sibling's wife's brother and his wife, what about their own parents? Uh. <laughs> So okay. that's what I'm telling you, that our problems, we usually talk about our problems on the surface. I see the way we go about Nigeria's problems, and I shake my head that we're not getting it. Mm -hmm. we, we are not understanding what is happening. Our problems are not just going to go away. It is deeply rooted. Okay, so satire, for example, you're going to be shut down. The very same people, some of them whom you claim you're fighting for, are going to come after you mm -hmm. just for being brave enough to do that. So does that mean you shouldn't do satire? Perhaps that's not what it means. It just means, again, that you must always put common sense. Oh, so let me give you an example. For example, do you know that Trevor Noah can stand where he is right now? Trevor Noah can sit where he is and castigate the South African government, which he does regularly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who's going to catch him? Nobody. nobody. You know why nobody's going to catch him? He has backing. Hmm. You know what kind of backing he has? He has financial backing. He has power. Hmm. That's where I was going with the Nigerian youth. You are already on that path. Some of you guys are beginning to make money. Hmm. Money speaks. The Bible says that a feast is prepared for laughter and wine is made. Wine makes merry, but money answers everything. everything. You guys just keep building up that financial power. Just keep building it. Just keep building it. After a while, you're going to come together and you're going to make something happen. Hmm. And then you're going to make it happen on the cusp of historic change. Again, as I said, the old guard is going to go. My own greatest fear is that the old guard is already poisoning the young guard. I hmm. know young men who are my age mates right now who are in politics who are thieves. Hmm. They've drunk of that water already. Hmm. They've drunk of that water. It has taken over them. They like the trappings of power that they see. They want to walk in those same steps that those old men walked. That's my greatest fear. So when we talk about these old men, they're going to go. Do you not know they're going to go? But they're already grooming. They are. They're already grooming an army. Okay, so let, let, it's interesting you mentioned power because I was going to come to that. I was just telling mm. Sanzi before the show that I watched a video of our, our former colleague, um, Akan, that did a, a video on cryptocurrency, right? You see, when the uh, NSARS thingy happened... Of course, I mean, we hear that a lot of them, uh, a lot of the young people, when some of their accounts were blocked, how they were able to fund and, you know, get funds across to the, to the people were, was through, um, uh, through cryptocurrency. Um, cryptocurrency. Now you're talking about financial power. So we know now that, yes, our voice is powerful. But you see, that backing, that backing you're talking about, Trevor Noah, is the financial backing of, that backs that voice, which is, you know, this um, new generation of young people making so much money online. But right now, they are being stifled. They are being crippled in Nigeria, right? So, that's, that, that, so those are the things that is giving me a bit of concern, right? Even when we decided, you know what, we have had it. We want to raise, stand up against um, bad governance and all of that. We're seeing that this, this strategy is not working. And maybe you take Adi's comment because somebody's suggesting that we take on the, the style of um, J.K. Rollins. You know, maybe you should take Adi's comments. All right, you know, so Adi is from the UK. This is what Adi says. Good evening, ladies. Welcome back, Oa. Nigeria needs to apply uh, J.J. Rollins' method when he was in power. Until this happens, we will not ex exit from this roundabout. Nigeria is a great nation with good people, both home and abroad. So what do you think? You know the J.J. Rollins uh, method that he's referring to, right? Yes, we know it. <laughs> Should we be saying that on live TV? <laughs> Everybody knows it. Everybody no, knows I mean, it. It's, it's his opinion. I mean, nobody has said anything. He just referred mm -hmm. to a method, and we all know what that method is, right? Uh -huh. We read about it. It can work. Yeah, it can work, but it, it hardly ever takes you all the way. Mm. With all due respect to Ghana, Ghana is in many ways uh, uh, better than Nigeria in some ways. But what's the population of Ghana? Compared to Nigeria. I mean, 
not to take anything away from Ghanaians. I mean, I've been to Ghana. I, I, I love Ghana. I always feel at ease in Ghana. Great people, you know. But I mean, we're not that different from one another. And don't also forget there are many Ghanaians in Nigeria right. as well. In fact, even when Nigeria had it rough back in the day, there were so many Nigerians in Ghana that we shamefully then implemented what we called Ghana must go, something that should never have happened, you know. But the point is that even the Ghana that went the way of Rollins, I mean, I, I asked you to name a country, a first world country of black people, and you didn't name Ghana. Hmm. Okay? So okay. there's a limit to how effective that is over time. Okay? Ghana is better than Nigeria, but not all the way better like that. Hmm. Okay? okay? So there is that way, but it doesn't solve the problem. That is like going to a tree and cutting off all the fruits of, of the tree, but leaving the tree standing. The tree is going to eventually have fruits. Again, you know. I replicate the uh -huh. same fruits. Okay, so let me take yeah, more comments. The same thing. Yeah, um, this is from um, I think is Rafael you Akori. Did you ask me a question about uh, cryptocurrency? Did yes, I'm going to come to that, but I just wanted to quickly take in more comments. The youth are vocal without substance because this is also linked to financial backing. The youth are vocal without substance, and we need serious mentorship. But our leaders are overstaying their welcome. That's from Rafael Akori. He's from Zaria. Then Kunle, I think, or oh, sorry, no, Leila says, answers, yes, a good movement, but we did not see a switch or a direction. Stare, uh, stare, that, um, stare that can um, impact, or oh, a direction stare, rather, that can impact 2023 from the movement. Then Indubisi says, towards the next election, for me, it's continuous community education and engagement. So back to the financial backing on cryptocurrency. Okay. Uh, okay. So let me let me take that last. First of all, let me say that even though I said that the problems that we have as a race and a nation, in this case Nigeria, are deeply rooted, you should know that you don't need many keys to open a door. Mm -hmm. It's something that a friend of mine says a lot, Kole Yeah. Uh, it's also in the same sense that you don't need a whole pot of salt mm -hmm. to season the, the pot soup. of soup. Yeah. Right. The fact that I'm cooking uh, soup in what appears to be a 25-liter pot doesn't mean that I need a 25 liter amount of salt to season that whole pot. Mm -hmm. So it is that when Nigeria is going to change, you don't need thousands of Nigerians to change relative to the number of Nigerians. We're about 200 million now. Mm -hmm. When Nigeria is going to change, you actually don't need even 50 million people to, to change, actually. Mm -hmm. You actually need enough change makers in the right positions, and that will happen. And that is one of the things that the NSAS process has birthed in the hearts of people. You just wait for it. Mm. There is a critical mass of Nigerians who are coming to change Nigeria who are in diaspora right now. Yeah. Some of them have just been born right now. Mm -hmm. like the they have been born to parents to amen. <laughs> who are Nigerians. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did you say? I'm like the church girl she who wants to say hallelujah, say, amen. amen. <laughs> yeah. There are people who are born to parents like me who are Nigerians mm. who are going to grow up in America. They're going to grow up in the West. They're going to have what it takes they're going to be enlightened, but they're not going to forget their Nigerian youth, okay? Mm. That generation is coming back to Nigeria. They're coming to change Nigeria. But even before then, there are still people like me who have come here to do things that we've been sent providentially. Mm. When it is time, we're going to return to change things. So, so don't worry about that. There are people who are being put in places. There are lines that are being set in pleasant places. Providence is just watching. So that's the first thing. You must remember that. You don't need to change every Nigerian before you change things, okay? Mm -hmm. You only need a critical mass. Proof of which is the fact that everybody who is in government right now is less. The total number of people in government are less right now than a decimal point of the total number of Nigerians. And yet, see how our country is going. Mm -hmm. All right. So, okay. um, so I that's, will... that's always be that at the back of your mind. Now, as to cryptocurrency, you must always remember that government is big and strong. But big and strong doesn't always mean leaf or flexible. Mm -hmm. Okay. What you have as a young person and as a brilliant, intelligent young person is you always have size and movement on your side. The government can, it's not, the government is too big to catch you. Even the United States government. Even the United States government is too big, okay, to even catch the thinkers in her system. Talk much less with all due respect of the Nigerian government, okay? The Nigerian government, every government is reactionary. They only react to what you come out with. Mm -hmm. Cryptocurrency is already something that was how many years ago? Nigerian government is just reacting now. Do you know since when China banned cryptocurrency the first time? Mm. So mm. we will always find ways, or they will always find ways that should not stop you. Mm. The next wave that is going to come 
you're going to be at the forefront of that. Don't worry, you will find ways. Don't worry about it. The brand crypto, I'm, as I speak to you, I can assure you that boys are already working. On Fine, other they've already found it. other means. Okay, let's take more comments in because we have like two minutes to wrap up. <laughs> All right, so this is from Lyo. Uh, I am actually not looking forward to 2023 because I am very sure nothing changes. Last minute presidential candidates and everyone going back to choosing either of the two top political candidates. Hmm. Hmm. Another one from Kunle, voters' education through skits can be a better approach. I just love the depth of knowledge from Teju Baby Face. All right, so Teju. Oh, thank you. That's rather kind. Thank you very much. I didn't think I was eminently qualified to talk about this, but hey, here we are. No, but you see, the, t the truth is we're having a conversation. And the reason we want to also bring not the regular faces that people know to talk about things like this, it's also to broaden the minds of people. And I'm so excited about what you said about, you know, um, changing the narrative and, and going back to, you know, this space here, you know, to solve the problem. So if you were to give like a final comment or a final advice or something, because we're going to bring you back. We never have enough time when we have great guests, you know, right. but for, to, for, to, for tonight's conversation, let's wrap it up nicely, right? We agree that we have a voice, we have all of those things. So how would you say should be the better strategy, you know, to winning this fight against bad governance? Okay, so let me give you a prophecy, a prophecy that even I did not know was going to come out of my mouth until this time. So I can only hope and believe that it is providential. Those who are going to change Nigeria, uh, a lot of them are going to be birthed and ignited from the NSAS protests, but they are not going to be those guys whom you saw at the forefront, not most of them, hmm. okay? The fires, as I've said, have been ignited in several hearts and minds all over the world of people who have the Nigerian blood, okay? Now, this is what you should know. Usually, you cannot be an effective change agent for that which you are a part of, okay? Hmm. It is historic that people who have almost always changed anything are never a part of that which they seek to change, True. usually in their mindset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you think, I can just tell you for free, if for free now, if you're harboring dreams or you're nurturing dreams of being a change agent in Nigeria, if you are not thinking radically different from the way, with all due respect, most Nigerians think, you're not going to change nothing. Hmm. Now, how do most Nigerians think? We've come full circle. It's exactly where we started from. If you want to get into governance because you see it as a means to the end hmm. of living a good life, then you're already eminently disqualified. Okay, so this is what I will put to you as a young person in Nigeria who watched all those protests and who a fire burns in their hearts. The first thing you can always do is that they say that charity begins at home. Uh -huh. And when we say charity begins at home, that means different things for many people. But it must begin from inside you. So you are this change agent who complains about Nigeria a lot. But then I must ask you a question. Um, what makes you think you'll be different if you're in governance? You complain about all these leaders. But we've seen the same people who are in government now. I've seen people who sat opposite me and complained about politicians using siren in traffic. I've seen those same people get into government and use those same sirens. Mm -hmm. OK, so if you're sitting right now as a young Nigerian and you're complaining about the governance in Nigeria, I know that you will do the same thing if you're not doing the best with yourself. Mm -hmm. So if you're a student right now, are you top of your class? Hmm. And it has nothing to do with academics. Get me, get me right. They may teach you rubbish. But what I'm asking is, are you making the best of who you are as a young person, wherever you find yourself? Hmm. Student, entrepreneur, job seeker. Hmm. You are this young Nigerian who is complaining about the governance. You're complaining about the president. And yet you go to work late every day. <laughs> and it's not because of traffic. You're just tardy. Oh, my goodness. You're just a tardy Stand person. The table. You're just lazy like Please that. Please break it. Our break table you. is glass table. Break it, break it, break Shattered. it, break it. Yeah. <laughs> You, you, you complain oh my about God. how these politicians are doing, and yet you go on Twitter and you abuse people who are older than you oh, and who are better we ran than out you. Of you just time. forget and talk anyhow. <laughs> Absolutely. Just talk. Blah, 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 blah. So that and change you must start with us. Thank you so much, yeah. Teddy Babyface. I hope you come back again. Fantastic guest. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. I mean, we've run out of time. Like, 
they are shouting in my ears. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Waze was birthed from the need to inspire, inform, and influence lives towards action. And this year, we started our CSR focused on curbing unemployment in Nigeria. So if you are a company, please partner with us by allocating internship slots. And if you are a job seeker, keep watching Waze and follow us on all our social media handles as this will be an all-year-round engagement. So tell a friend to keep all eyes on Waze. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. It took me quite a long time to develop a voice. And now that I have it, I am not going to be silent. I hope we channel our voices right and we do the right thing. Like Teju has said, this change begins with us. We'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring you another great conversation. Enjoy. Thank you, Sanzi. Thank you. <laughs>